everyone and welcome to this week's video from the Veg Grower podcast. Now, I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour of the allotment and um, as you can hear, it's been quite windy and uh, it's wet um, as of the last few days. Well, so things are a bit blown over, there's weeds everywhere, so it's, it's, it's at that point, uh, you're coming to the end of the season, things are looking a bit tired, but nonetheless, we'll take you on a tour, I'll show you around. Now at this end, uh, I've cleared away a bit, trying to tidy it up, and the rhubarb is, uh, with various rhubarbs and gooseberries and stuff there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit, I'm going to keep hoeing it over, eventually I will coat it in the um, horse manure, uh, give it a bit of a tidy up. Again, that's going all the way along there. So, sweet potatoes we have here they've really bounced along in growth this last week or last couple of weeks anyway so they're looking good and these strawberries are just taking over the place but they're going to be moved fairly soon uh, in amongst that lot is the mountain magic tomatoes they're still doing well they've been blown over in the wind um, they're, I'd say they're doing better than the crimson crush this year so I'm quite pleased with those um, We'll come to the Crimson Crush in a bit, but yeah, everything's a bit of a jungle here. I'm I'm working on it, but I'm working on other places, uh, other areas as well. Beetroot is amongst this lot of weeds as well, and as I say, they're doing well. The uh, runner beans over there, I'm getting a few runner beans at the moment, so I'm happy with that. These carrots are still here, doing okay. Uh, yeah, a few more tomatoes and stuff, and more strawberries, but they'll be dug up soonish. These leeks, they're doing really well. Uh, a few onions still in there, they've got to come up. But yeah, these leeks are doing really, really well. Really pleased with how they're going. Uh, these rhubarbs here are doing pretty good. They're obviously at the end of the season. You can see where I've been digging over this bit, getting it ready for building. I've started building the frame for uh, this next bit. That, that'll be happening over the next few weeks. Uh, these are the Crimson Crush I was talking about, as you can see. They've been blown over in the wind, but they're also looking a bit tired. I'll probably be ripping them out in the next couple of weeks. I've got a few harvests to do once I finish recording. Just thought I'd do a bit of recording before the rain comes in. Anything I can show you down here, really. There's more of the mountain magics down there. I'm really pleased with those, actually. I'll be buying those again, growing those again next year. Right. So, let's head. Globe artichoke has died off, but it's starting to grow back up. And those raspberries down there, they started to spring into life, but that area is going to be cleared over the winter but yeah the globe artichoke there bringing back into life and I've shown you those rhubarb this asparagus bed I've been trying to have a bit of a weed up in there and um, they'll be dying back soon so again I'll be covered in a good mulch been picking apples off this apple tree um, I think that needs a bit of a sort out eventually and these potatoes here they've obviously died back I don't no, I don't think it was blight that killed these actually. I think they just for me this year potatoes haven't done brilliantly but I've got all these ones that need harvesting but I leave them in until I'm ready to harvest them. Uh, these Jerusalem artichokes they're just gone like mad. Uh, hopefully what's under the ground is just as good but they're taking over the road so I've got to come up with some sort of way of trying to push them back in and I might have to build a, a fence up, I think. The elderflower's really put on growth as well. That's comfrey there. I'm going to cut that down soon and throw it in the compost heap. The pear, that's doing well. Um, the pear I, I had grown on it fell off, I found that today. So I've picked that. That apple tree is really good. We come into the pumpkins. Now, this one here is growing well, it's nearly ready. 
I had another one there that I picked last week um, but I've got another pumpkin showing up under there in fact the pumpkins over the last few weeks have been doing well that's the pear that has fallen off I'm happy with that good size I'm pleased um, I've cleared this bed it's ready for uh, I've got a few plants left in it but I don't think they're going to do much but we won't worry about that and that'll be where shallots are growing next um, added more manure and compost to this bed the, you saw me doing last week so where garlic is going to be this year um, we'll come down here these are the brassicas, uh, the <laughs> never-ending Brussels sprouts. I'm still getting sprouts off that. Let's see if I can find, show you any. Are you looking there? Yeah, there's a few in there. They're doing well. I'm pleased with them. Uh, well, we've still got cabbages that are ready. But the uh, butternut squashes are here. Uh, they've started flowering lately. These have been really far behind for some reason, but they've seemed to have just suddenly shot on in growth lately again. Whether they do anything, I don't know. We'll see. More brassicas in this bed. Um, here we've got the PSB kale, which I'm not sure what it is. And there's more Brussels sprouts. I've got room, got room for some other stuff to go in that'll be planting up soon. This bed is going to have onions in this year. Uh, the sunflower's just blown across there. Um, it's still growing, so we won't worry about too much about it. But that is, uh, I've started doing the same as what I've done with a garlic bed. Cardboard, manure, and getting it ready. Sweet corns, they're done, so I'm probably going to have to chop those down. Now you saw me picking those last week. In front of that I've got leeks, which... They are, I can harvest those, I can eat those, and that's the word. And there we've got French beans, which I've got to harvest a few in a bit. Underneath is a courgette somewhere, but I can't really see that. Um, more potatoes. These ones have done really well, actually. Really pleased with how these ones are doing. Um, they are the Sarpo Myers, I should say. All the rest have all pretty much died back, so I'll be harvesting those over a few weeks. Down the end there, I'll zoom in, there, built a new, another new small bed, um, I think I'm going to put horseradish in that, uh, and that bed just there in front of it is where I'm going to put some of the uka, is it uka? Yeah, I think it is, I'll show you those in a minute, I've got those. These red, white and black currants, they're, I think they're dead, so they'll be coming up, I've ordered some replacements. So, yeah, uh, this is what I was talking about. The yucca, it's done really well. I didn't even plant it, it I just left it to um, basically grow on its own. But that is a good sized plant. Got a few yellow raspberries there, I showed you those last week. Uh, down here, just got gooseberries and things just growing away like they should. Hazel. Cherry tree and strawberries underneath. The strawberries are spreading, so it's doing what I want to do. And the cider apple tree, um, they're going to be ready soon, so I'll be picking those off to make cider. So I think next I'm going to take you a tour of the vegetable plot at home. All right, let's have a little look around at home, shall we? Now, here we see my uh, plots. There. Uh, some are doing well, some are coming to the end. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty good year for herbs. The mint over here, look at that one, starting to get flowers. So, yeah, we'll be using some of that as we go along. <coughs> now, all these raspberry canes, I've cut those back, clearing the path because it was getting a bit full. Um, now they've finished fruiting and then uh, I'll be cutting back some of the older stems the next plan. They, this rosemary is going to need a bit of a haircut soon as well, taking over the path. 
These are some prepared woods for beds I've made. Rhubarb just here. Um, it's starting to die off now. It's coming to the end. We've had some strong winds lately, so it's uh, affecting that a bit. Right, let's go in here. Tomatoes are just growing like mad. I'm picking tomatoes almost every day. Although I have got blight coming in. Look there. So these will probably be cut out soon anyway and got rid of. They've taken over the greenhouse again. I'm learning a lesson for next year about being a bit more uh, strict with them. But what I am pleased with down there, I've still got my melon doing lovely. Really pleased with that one. First time I've actually managed to get her one to set and grow. So and that will that'll be good. Even better when I fruit it. And the other thing I have got, been keeping my eye on now. Perhaps some of you can help me. This pepper plant here is meant to be hot scotch. That looks like a standard bell pepper to me. I was going to leave it to colour and see what we get. But it may have to come out anyway. But I can't figure out. The label says it's hot scotch. So, but that doesn't look like a hot scotch to you. Or certainly doesn't to me. Cucumbers down the end there. Still getting cucumbers out of them. Actually, in fact, I can see there's a couple down just uh just there, just behind that leaf there. There's a couple there, they'll have to come out in a second. <laughs> but I've trained out all the way up there. And it's still growing. That bit there is going to be my wife's meadow area, or one of the two areas. I've started digging that over and getting that prepared. Not really anything to do with fruit and vegetables, I know, but nonetheless. Um, we'll go around here first now. This is all pallets I've cut down, ready to make beds for. So I'm going through the whole treating and stuff. I've um, got a few plants over here. Some chard and stuff, they're to go into the allotment pretty soon actually. Cleared up a bit of room around here by getting rid of some of these pallets. Uh, these pots, yeah, they're not doing too badly. But I'll show you this one. I've got to do a lot of weeding. If we look here, saffron is starting to show itself. So that'd be good. Get some lovely saffron again. I've just seen my eucalyptus tree has got blown over there. So we'll put, pick that up quickly while I'm here. But some lovely cranberries on there. Right. There we go. Yeah. Lovely cranberries there. They're, they're uh, I think they might be ready actually. Can't complain about that. Got some more more saffron here. We're just there, just grown. And I got some broccoli. These are to go down the allotment this weekend I think they'll go down there. Uh, not much more to show you on here. In my salad bed, I've put out, oh, I've done this a few weeks ago, these um, celery plants. They're, they're not the thickest, they, they look good, um, but they're not, they're not really doing a huge amount, but I can't complain. Same as the spring onions here, they're, they've been in there for ages and they just don't seem to be thickening up. But nonetheless, they'll do well. There's some more soil that's just grown on itself there, so I'll be digging those out soon. Blueberries here are doing pretty damn good. That one's looking on so much better since I've repotted it on. Then down here, the two horseradish, they're looking lovely. I'm going to plant those in the ground down the allotment later on this year. I was going to show you all this wasabi. 
started to grow again. That does that through the summer the leaves go and then it tends to be autumn winter it grows so wasabi lovely right I'm getting there with things I've got to be a lot more tidier next year and a lot more attentive so up here I've got a lot more Brussels sprouts that I don't know what I'm going to do with as well as these odd little chilies uh, and raspberry plant Got these various things. Cuckoo melons. Look at this, got a couple of cuckoo melons up here. There we go. There's that in fact. That's ready. There's one. There's another one there. Uh, there might be more. I'll have a good look. Cuckoo melons seem to have done better up here than in the ground, so that's good. My Joe's long chili that's been growing in this pot. Starting to go black. I'm hoping it's going to go. It's just ripening, but that's not bad. Not bad at all. The veg patch is pretty empty at the moment due to all the tomatoes going. Um, these jalapenos here are doing awesome. They keep growing, and there's more and more coming. So that's pretty good. That cucumber, the leaves are pretty worn out. It's um, doing better and better, producing more and more. Uh, and that is a courgette just there, it's not really doing much. And then we've got those three there that they're also dying back, but we'll see what happens. Things are dying back, but they're also producing at the same time. Right. Just getting uh, attacked by them. Yes, you. Right, in here. These up here are still doing well. Aubergines, chilies, tomatoes. Tomatoes have no blight on them at all. So we'll keep these growing in here. But what I'm really impressed with, in fact, bring us over here. My IKEA hydroponics kit. Look how good that is. That's, that is now ready. So that's going into the kitchen and we're going to start using those up. But that is just pot and a bit slow to get started. And now it's just really gone for it. Excellent. So that's a good big win in my book. So let me just flip the camera around quickly. There we go. Right. Yeah. So uh, there's a tour of, well, hang on, my fingers in the way, sorry, that's better. Yeah, there's a tour of um, the allotment and a veg patch at home. Just um, been on call this week, so that's what I tend to do when I'm on call is the tours. Uh, you get to see how everything's going. I'm happy with things still. Um, lessons have been learned for next year, which is important. Um, so yeah, yeah, and uh, the uh, next season is getting underway really because uh, I see it starts in sort of September when I plant out the garlic and things so that's only a couple of weeks away so I'm going to wrap up now thank you very very much for watching uh, thank you to all my new subscribers great to have you along uh, any comments suggestions get in touch in the comments suggestions below um, yeah that's all I have to say really thanks again and I'll see you on the next one take care bye bye